Y'all, I am back with another video. Uh, today, I just came from bingo. And I did not win. Well, y'all, today I went to Zasty. Went to Zasty. Oh, yeah. Y'all, let me show you. Uh, these, I got some um, fried pickles, caramel, dust fried pickles, y'all. Look at them. Fried pickles. Look at that, y'all. Fried pickles. Wow, they put a lot in there. And this was like $4.88. And then, hold on. You know, this out the way. And I got the chicken Philly sandwich. Y'all, it came with fries. And it got bell peppers in it, mushroom. Oh, look at that, y'all. And I got a combo with that. And then I got, um, whoo. My bag, y'all, yeah, my bag. Okay, got napkins. And I got ranch dressing and tongue, tongue torch sauce, which this is buffalo sauce. So I'm gonna put this on my sandwich. Wow. Oh, it looks so good. Put me some ranch on it. Well, y'all, this is holiday time now, y'all. It's time to start some cooking. So my plan is, that's the buffalo sauce, if y'all can see it. I don't think I'm going to put no lot of data on there. I don't know. I never tried it. I'll just sit there right there for now. Okay, y'all, let's get our grace in. Dear God, thank you for the food. And Lord God, thank you for the hand that prepared. And let it be nourishment to my body. Amen, amen, amen. Y'all, look at it with the sauce. Look at it, y'all, with the sauce on it. And they have the fried chicken and also have the grilled chickens. And I got the uh, fried chicken. And it looked like this, y'all. Mm. So, we put a lot of chicken on him. I think I made a boo-boo. Y'all, look at the cheese. I didn't put too much sauce on it. I'm going to try. Y'all, look. Look at this sauce. Look at that. Look at that cheese. Y'all, y'all need to try it. And this here, the combo and the pickles came to like $15 or something. Mm. Y'all, this is good. I gotta crack my window. I'm at home sitting in my yard. Oh yeah, and I also got a drink. Oh, I'll show y'all. Okay, what a straw it. I got it. I got it. Y'all, this is so good. Now, this is my second time having this. But my first time, I did not put the, um, I did not put the ranch or the buffalo sauce. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't too much care for the buffalo, buffalo sauce. I really don't. Mm. 
Mm. Where do y'all got up at 6 o'clock this morning? And it was cold to me. <laughs> Down here in Mississippi. <laughs> they fry up good. I'm going to have ketchup on them. They're good. But you know, it's not like ketchup. Gotta have that ketchup. Mmm, that cheese good. Real good. Let me talk. I gotta eat a little bit. It's hot. I can't let my one all the down because my cats will jump in the car. Have y'all ever did that? Now, this is Sprite. When you suck it, acid, it just be so strong. Mmm. I want to try one of them pickles. That's what I'm feeling though. Do y'all ever see them little bit of black specks? I believe my blood pressure. Up. Whoa, that's a strong Sprite. It be about to choke me. Y'all, let's try pickling. Fried uh, caramel, dusty fried pickles. Okay. All right, let's see what you're working with. Y'all, this how they look. Look good. They go. Okay. That's good. Come on. Come on. Mmm. Kind of tastes like a little bit like fried tomatoes. It can taste like fried tomatoes and fried pickles. Okay. That's good. I'm going to work on this sandwich. <laughs> Mm. 
Wow, that's good. It's seasoned, good. It kind of tastes just a little salty. Me. Look at that. Look at all this sauce on that. Well, y'all, I'm going to make, make room in my defreezer because I'm going to start doing my Thanksgiving stuff. Now, this weekend, my plan, and the Lord says the same, don't nothing happen. I'm planning on making my dressing. Gonna make my dressing and freeze it. And I think I'm gonna do my sweet potato pies this weekend and freeze them. I gotta find me some greens. I'm gonna pre cook them and freeze them. I'm thinking about making my cakes and freeze them, but I think I'm gonna wait on that, on that part, cause um, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna have enough room for all that. Cause I got a refrigerator with a uh, bottom freezer. And then I got my freezer in my laundry room. And then, um, Then I got a freezer uh, on my deck uh, in a storage room. Well, I really, really, really probably have enough room. I don't know, but we shall see. But I'm finna start getting some stuff together. I'm tired of waiting to the last minute doing stuff and uh what else i'm planning on doing chop up all my season but you know what i think what i'm gonna do you know they got that creole season play doing all that chopping 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 and then vegetable is so hot right now everything is so high so you got to kind of do what you like doing, but you got to kind of budget yourself, too. You know, you got to go the cheaper way sometimes. And I might just get the season already uh, chopped up. You know, they got the Creole season in the container. Then they have the um, the um, season bag, you know, in, in the product department. I might go that route. I don't know yet. But we shall see. But I know one thing. My phone went door. Wonder why that happened. Well, y'all. I just don't understand this phone. Why would it go door like that? Oh, well. Anyway. Y'all can see me. And I'm eating. And, you know, I don't have the best equipment doing this uh, YouTube stuff. I'm just doing my best, okay? Excuse me. I can't get all that fancy stuff right now. Because YouTube not paying me right now.
Yum. The same is good, but I don't like that buffalo sauce. I'm just being honest. Oh, they had all kinds of sauce. Y'all yeah, know what I should have did? I should have got the honey mustard. What do I call this? Um. Oh. Hmm. They had all kinds of sauce. So I'm not going again. I think I'm I'm gonna try just the honey mustard. I think they got barbecue sauce. You put on what you want to put on. They got a lot of different kinds of sauce. But I chose the ranch and the buffalo sauce because my daughter-in-law said she tried it like that. And she liked it. Because my first time, I did not use no sauce. So... I found out today that um, I don't like the buffalo sauce. But like I said, they got a lot of sauce. Cause the lady, she was calling the sauce out to me. And I just stuck with the ranch and the buffalo sauce. So that's what I did. But now that I did that, now I done tasted it. I could deal with the ranch. But the buffalo sauce, it kind of tastes like, let me tell you what it tastes like. It kind of tastes like uh, a little tomato sauce with some hot pepper or something in it. Oh, hot sauce. Like hot sauce. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I think... The hunt muscle a sit it out. That's what I'm thinking. But y'all, um, that's it for me. Cash jumping on my car. <coughs> Just mind it over. Trey. I'll put it down now. Don't nobody be in my car with me. <laughs> And a Sprite, if you order a Sprite, it's grown. And the pickles, they will be eight. They will get eight, y'all. Because I like pickles. Have y'all ever tried that? Um, butter breaded pickles, or is it breaded buttery pickles, the little round one. Oh, and they have a, they have a, the long, the slice kind too. If you have not tried that, y'all, y'all need to try that. Mmm. Man, them pickles be so good. Oh my God, they are so delicious. And I love to put mine on a burger. On my burger. And then sometimes I give me three or four of them. And just eat them. They good. It's buttery. It's butter. Bread. Pickles. In a jar. You know like you get the deer pickles. And all that in a jar. It sit right over there. Where all the other pickles at. Try it. I'm telling y'all. They are delicious. It's delicious. Mmm. And the pickles, mm -hmm. it'll put you in the mind that you eating fried tomatoes. Mm hmm. What they like? I don't like them. Honey. I 
I will go to Zaspin just to get them fried pickle. Mm hmm Yeah, they're good. I don't know why, y'all. I cannot eat a lot. And I remember I remember I remember I used to ask my mother and we used to always go to her house. And we all sit on the porch and stuff, she always in there cooking. And my mama would always go get a little bowl. I don't care what she cooks, she gonna put a little bit of everything in it. Just a little bit now. I used to say, Mama, why you be cooking all that food and you just eat a little bowl of food? She said, keep living. And you'll find out. She said, because the older you get, the less you want to eat. And that was the truth. See, the time, baby, I used to have a plate full of food. Mm -hmm. And my stomach would call them for more, and I wasn't even through with what was already on the plate. I would go in at seconds, and wasn't even finished what I already had. And, um, and that goes to show you time bring about a change. The older you get, thing changes. And it's so true. Like I used to be strong, strong. I know I still I'm still a strong woman, but I was so strong and strong minded. And I used to work 16 hours a day. I just love to work, 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 work. I'm always doing something around my house or whatever. And my daughter told me, she said, Mama, you need to start working something. You need to start pampering yourself. I didn't know nobody doing nails and all that kind of stuff. Only thing I ever did when I was young, I, I worked. I was raising my kids. And all the makeup that I would wear, it would just be lipstick. Because I didn't know nothing about doing your eyebrows, your eyelashes. And I went into, I went into all that kind of stuff. But, you know, as you get older, the thing you weren't doing, you were younger. And then it's something about when you start getting older, you pick up new things that you want to do. You pick up new habits that you want to do that you wouldn't have never thought about doing, you know, back in the days. Like now, here I am. Who ever would have thought I'd be doing YouTube? struggling doing it but i'm doing it because you know what i found out you got to find something to do with your time and you got to do something to keep your brains working you know what i'm saying you gotta you you what you got while you got it because if you don't use nothing you lose it mine is a terrible thing to lose so I think, I thank God for how far he had brought me, you know. And I thank God that I still got my health and strength. Because so many of us at my age, at 62, have gone on or bedridden or can't do nothing for themselves. And that's why we got to stop complaining, y'all, and be grateful. And thank God for what we have. And thank him for our health and strength that he woke us up this morning. He lead us on our way. You know what I'm saying? He with us going, coming to and fro. And I just learned you got to be grateful. Because it's a lot of time in life that we wasn't grateful. When we should have been grateful. We all have been. We all have done that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I put all my trust in God. I don't put my trust in man. And I know without God, there's nothing I can do. And we complain. Look at the world. Look at this world. Look what's going on over there in Israel and all them places. How they, you know, it just say. And we complain. We complain. I ask God to forgive me each and every day. Lord God. 
if there's anything that I have done that's what not of you, I ask you to forgive me through your son Jesus Christ's name. Forgive me, O Lord, for I have sinned. And bless me, Lord God, to go, grow stronger in you. We got to keep our eyes on the prize. And the prize is the man up above. Not our situation. Because we look around us. See, that will take our eyes off of God. Because we're looking around. We're looking around when God trying to speak to us, tell us something. We're looking here. We're looking there. We're looking everywhere. But the prize is in the sky. Keep your eye on him. Because I'm going to tell y'all something now. God is a jealous God. And sometimes we get caught up doing too much of what we want to do in this world. We're like, there's no tomorrow when we're supposed to take one day at a time. I used to sing that song in church. One day at a time. Sweet Jesus. That's all I'm asking of you. Hold my hand, Lord, and walk with me through my going and my comings and my ups and downs, my downfalls. That, Lord God, that you keep your arm around me and keep me in your bosom. Amen. Well, y'all, it was just a little thought for today. But anyway, y'all, if this is your first time seeing me, keeping a real with Linda, if it's your first time seeing me, I hope y'all enjoy my videos. I hope that y'all like, share, subscribe to my channel. Because what I do, y'all, it's not easy to do. It takes some guts to sit here and talk to a camera. It takes some guts. It really do. And I'm just grateful and blessed that this is something I just stepped into. I stepped into it. And I've been in it, y'all, two years. And that's a blessing. Two years. I still don't have my thousand subscribers. But, you know, life, life take you through stuff. It's, life take you back. It give you a setback. A lot of things that you could have did, but circumstances sometimes get in your way. But I'm not going to complain. I'm just grateful. I'm blessed. I'm grateful for all the subscribers that I do have right now. And I thank each and every one of y'all for sticking with me. Because y'all could have moved on, but y'all still here. And for y'all newcomers, just coming to my channel, welcome, 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 welcome to Keeping It Real with Flunder channel. And I hope y'all enjoy everything that you see in my videos. Anything you need to know, just check out some of my video. Um, I don't have a lot of different food on my video yet. Because, like I say, I have, I have a life. I got kids, grandkids, got grandbabies on the way. Got a baby born, a, a great-granddaughter born in a day now. In a day, a little girl. Then in December, my son and his wife have a daughter. So that's a granddaughter. Then my son daughter, my other son daughter, my son's daughter, having a girl. So I'm having two great grandbabies, one in November, any day now. And then I got a granddaughter and a great granddaughter born in December. Tell me God ain't good. He is good. Without him, I wouldn't be here. And I thank him for keeping me above the living and not beneath the dead. Amen. Well, y'all, to your newcomers, if you want to start your YouTube channel, any talent you have, you know, cooking, talking, eating, whatever, 
don't be afraid. Try. Just step out and try. You might not get, and don't let what you see other people tell them, got all them subscribers and uh, views. Don't let it get the best of you. Just keep doing you. And that's just what I'm doing. Because I was letting all that bait my spirit, but I prayed about it. And I let God, I let go and let God. God going to see me through. Okay, y'all. Well, y'all, I am fin to go. And I love each and every one of y'all. And y'all stay blessed. Stay out of trouble. Until you see me the next time. I love y'all. Bye-bye.